When a cumulative distribution function was defined, the goal was to go from lowercase f to uppercase f. We're now considering on this slide the opposite case. We have uppercase f and we're trying to go to lowercase f. This top portion up here considers discrete random variables and this bottom portion down here considers continuous random variables and I'm going to go ahead and start with the lower case because I think it's the easier of the two. When capital F of X was defined as the probability that the random variable X is less than or equal to little x, in the continuous case that turned out to be the integral from negative infinity to x of f of w dw. We used w as a dummy variable. It stands to reason if we go from probability density function to cumulative distribution function by integrating, then in order to go from cumulative distribution function to probability density function, we would do so by differentiating, and that is indeed the case. That's the continuous case. Going up here to the discrete case, let's assume that the discrete random variable x has support, script A, which is x1, x2, up to xn. If this was instead a countable infinity, rather than a finite group of mass values. This would still apply. And we're going to assume that those are in increasing order. You go from probability mass function to cumulative distribution function by summing. So the way to go from cumulative distribution function to probability mass function is done by differencing. And this result gives the formula for that particular case.